Hey, we're gonna do a best best segment, our best bet segment for March 11 because we got a bunch of these uh, conference tournaments. A lot of those games are tipping off on the 12th. So here are our best bets for Monday, March 11th. Kramer, what do you got? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, I do love that I was informed that uh, Portland State also Vikings, but not putting them in, uh, in this section. I, I'm a Horizon League specialist. It does seem. Lock, Northern Kentucky minus one and a half, yeah. classier team to me. Uh, dog, Cleveland State on the money line. Dog. And lock number two, uh, James Madison rolls. Let's go lay the big number. JMU cashes for me at plus one thirty five on the conference future. Uh, yeah, kicking it over to me. I got the Montana State future. I do believe in this uh, Montana State team. I'm gonna take them. Uh, Montana State on the money line to get it done against Weber State. I think Santa Clara is a good team. I think they're gonna catch St. Mary's sleeping at least a little bit. Nine and a half is too high. Give me Santa Clara plus the points there. And I'm with you, Kramer. Northern Kentucky, those Vikings. That's gonna be a tough out. Uh, I think they. What's up? They're the Norse. What is the Norse? Northern <laughs> Kentucky. They're the Norse. Okay. But Norse are people from Scandinavia, just like Vikings. <laughs> All right. But they're not the Vikings. I just it's a, what? Okay. All right. So and, now that and, we got and Sean, that sort of Sean, the, the Vikings ne- Vikings never raped or pillaged anything. <laughs> well, the Kirk Cousins certainly uh Whoa. didn't. Uh, nor- <laughs> Northern Kentucky minus a half like that spot against Milwaukee. Colby? Uh, the locks. Let's go with. It's Cleveland State. Cleveland State plus five and a half. Uh, I know. I think we we got it six and a half right now. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine if we really had Vikings at a farmer's market? <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, so I, that I mean, thing to the ground. <laughs> let's let's jump in on that, <laughs> and let's jump in on uh, Montana State and the points against Weber. Um, Montana State, obviously, they've gotten better as the season's gone along. And they, they, this is a guy that they lost Danny Sprinkle. They break in the brand new head coach, Matt Loggy. They gotten it. They, they've, they've just done better as the season's gone along. Uh, even, even in their losses to me, they, they, they're passing the eye test more and more. I think they stay within this number. The dog is the team that's practically at home. Towson Tigers against Charleston. Charleston, I understand. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna be needing to hire a head coach at the at the end of the year, I fully believe. But Towson's at home. Towson's beat them once in Charleston. Pa- Towson just knocked off Wilmington. Charleston beat Monmouth. There is a big difference. Towson played a very good team and won. Charleston played an average team, and and won. I think Towson with the home crowd behind him gets it out right. Let's go Tigers. And what was your uh, second lock, Colby? No, I, I, my second lock was was Montana State. Oh, Montana! State. Cleveland State, Montana State. My dog was Towson. Montana State plus six and a half. I'm with you. I like that. Uh, Cleveland State. Oh, they're both six and a half. Okay, that was what was throwing me off. I hate that Townsend pick. <laughs> well, I, I, all right, I threw an N in there. Jesus Christ! The pronunciation police. <laughs> Colby, I'm with you. This guy is really pushy. We gotta get we gotta get rid of Kramer. He's busting everyone's balls. 